What's happening, everybody? Today is April 30th, 2015. Um, not used to doing these on a Thursday, but I'm doing it on a Thursday, so there. Um, today, today's the last one. Today's the last, uh, last haircut here at this place. Sucks. Very sad about that. Um, so we're going to be going with a bit of a theme today. Um, soap today is going to be Barrister and Man Seville. Thankfully, this one has been uh, this one has been. I guess this one this one is in untouchable status as far as the uh, the the powers that be are concerned. Um, so we're going to be going with today. We're going to be using. Smug, which rules so hard, so deftly. We're going to be using the Simpsons Chubby Three Best. Yeah, Simpsons Chubby Three Best. Um, love this brush. So yeah, um, I said today's and this is the last, uh, this is the last, last haircut here. I'm actually going to be leaving from here Saturday morning. Get to Knoxville sometime in the afternoon. Probably going to be fueled by crema coffee for the entirety of Saturday morning. And afternoon, probably. Seeing as how that's like my one of my favorite places in the entire world because it just rules so hard. And you know what? If 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 where you live doesn't have a coffee shop that uh, that rules, I feel sorry for you because man, it's uh, that sucks for you. That that's pretty much all there is to it. This particular place. Um, friend of mine was talking to the owner a couple weeks ago and she was saying that uh, it's almost become something of a, uh, a tourist attraction. I think during the week she said that 30 <coughs> percent, excuse me, 30 percent of her um, of her sales are to new people whereas on the weekend that number goes up to 60 plus percent. Um, and there's always people taking pictures and I see it all the time of people taking pictures of the place, people taking pictures of themselves in the place. And these are not just <clears throat> these are not just people taking selfies. This is people like actually photographing the whole place, you know what I mean? So it's obviously people that, you know, looks like looks like tourist activity to me in addition to, you know, the fact that it's uh you know, that she says that the metrics, the analytics that are being run at her point of sale indicate that, you know, more than half of the people on weekends are first-time visitors. And of course, that has a lot to do with the fact that Nashville is very, Nashville is kind of like a <clears throat> bit of a, <coughs> excuse me, foodie destination. Um, so, you know, those people come here, in addition to all the other people that come here, um, you know, for pleasure and partying and all that good stuff. All that stuff that happens here. Um, this brush was a little wet, so I'm having to work a little bit more on the lather, but it's going to be worth it. That looks about right to me. Um, today's razor is going to be the above the tie R1 with the Atlas handle, um, and today's blade is going to be the fearsome feather straight out of the land of the rising sun. Now, these things that I've chosen for this particular shave are the things that I really like, that I got into when I really started knowing what I was doing as far as all this stuff is concerned. Of course, you know, you guys know there's a learning curve involved in all this. And when I really started you know, getting my technique down and everything. These are the things that I really gravitated to and these are the things that I really fell for, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and it's only fitting 
Ooh. I think it's only fitting that I use them, um, you know, when it's going to be my last, my last go here. Um, man, there's lather everywhere. <laughs> and it's too bad. I don't know where the hell Scuttlesworth is. It's somewhere in the, uh, in the storage unit, but I was not about to rummage through everything to try to find it. I'll find it when I move everything. Alrighty, so here we go. So today, actually, I've been very stressed over these past couple weeks. Um, there's just a lot of moving parts to life right about now. Um, I've been really stressed about life over the past couple weeks. So much so that I've, it, I've pretty much have not even thought about the festival. Um, it's coming up in like 20, I think it's like 23 days or so. Um, and I don't, I haven't even really thought about it, and that's very unlike me. But like I said, that just kind of goes to show how heavy life is right now. But also at the same time, like I said, I, I, I am like today it really hit me that. Uh, that the festival is coming up and that it's coming up very shortly. It's uh, something of a miracle that I even can go this year. And I'm very grateful to all parties involved that contributed to said miracle. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need that. Hopefully everything with this, or well, not everything, but the tough part of this, uh, of this sale on the crib <clears throat> are going to be done. Because there's nothing quite like sitting and waiting to make you feel terrible. At least me. Before, you know, I've been, uh, I've been spending a lot of time in the neighborhood um, over the past few weeks and just, you know, I guess just taking it in because I do, I do like this place. And right before I stepped in the shower, <laughs> There were some unhappy motorists out there because there was what sounded like at least 30 people all laying on their horn in unison. It was hilarious. I don't know what the hell's going on. Probably, probably a pedestrian, probably a drunk pedestrian at that, that was trying to amble back to their hotel room. But it's a little bit early for that, actually. It was only like it was right around 6 central time um, when that happened, which is usually earlier. Or, which is usually a little early for drunk pedestrians. But, like I said, that's usually what it is whenever that's the case, so I'm, I'm kind of bet, I'm betting on that being the, uh, the case there.
my car has been in the shop over the past couple days for a couple maintenance issues and they've given me a loaner the shop has given me a loaner and they gave me a Jetta a Jetta, a Volkswagen Jetta with an automatic transmission and man that car is making, re making me remember why I much prefer a manual transmission this particular one is like it really is a slush box. I don't know what it is, but it just is not like getting, it doesn't, drive is weird. Like if I'm stopped at a red light, if I'm stopped at a red light and I take my foot off the gas, it'll take a, it'll take a little bit, like a few seconds between the instant, you know, that my foot is fully off the gas and it feels like the transmission like gets back into drive even though I didn't take it out of drive. And it, I mean, like, you know, in that time, the, the car will not move forward, and it just, it's, it's disgusting. Not that that thing is anything resembling a performance car, but you expect it to go when you give it, you know, when you get on the accelerator. I've got myself right here. A little bit. Yep. <sighs> So yeah, I'll be leaving here Saturday probably at about 12 or 1, something like that. Probably get a last lunch in. Um, and then hit the road from there. Damn, I got myself good there. That sucks. The brain is kind of in 15 different places all at once right now. I guess that's why I'm a little quiet. But yeah, like I said, these things, everything that I'm using today are things that I kind of, you know, just, I guess, fell in love with while I was here at this place. Um, I guess we'll start with the brush. Um, this brush was pretty much my first high-end brush and I'm still convinced that this particular brush has the best the, the, the best Simpsons best hair that's ever been used in a brush it's very very good stuff I don't even remember where I ordered that brush from but they gave me a good one so thanks whoever you are The soap was in the very first Barrister and Man. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but uh, sometimes I get these text messages from somebody and I have no idea who they are. And they, I guess, sent me a picture of dinner. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. That Kraft macaroni and cheese is looking kind of buster, though. You could do better than that, whoever you are. Um, yeah, so the soap was in my very first Barrister of Man order. And uh, I was crazy about it pretty much from the instant that I smelled it.
For those of you that don't know and are into this sort of thing, Rome will soon be hitting the chopping block. So if you like Rome, as I do, you may want to pick one up if you don't have one, pick up a spare if you're so inclined, because it's going to be gone. I remember when it was released, the, rele or the reviews were hilarious. Some people were utterly offended, it seemed. Some people were like, yo, this stuff is incredible. It's good stuff, man. It's the smokiest, it's super smoky, very vetivery, very earthy. Very, very masculine scent, that one. It's good, good stuff. I've let a couple friends smell it, and they weren't into it. But they're weirdos. It happens. Man, this will not stop. I need to refigure the directions that the hairs grow in on my upper grow in on my upper lip. Because this area right now that's leaking has been a problem over the fast over the past few months and I thought I had it licked, but I don't. And it's very annoying. So yeah, like I was saying about the things that I, these things that I'm using, um, and I like them. So yeah, Seville, like I said, it was, it was in my very, my very first order from Barrister Man. Fell for it instantly. The stuff smells beautiful. If you don't have it, if you don't have it, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe your nose is broken or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so, and then these razors, I actually, it didn't take me very long to get these above the tie razors. Um, I read a lot, a lot, a lot of really good stuff about them. <coughs> Excuse me, I read a lot of really good stuff about them. And by that time, I had gone through a 34C, which is the very first razor that I got. A 15C, um, a 37C, and some other things. I don't quite remember what they are, though. Some other markers. Um, and I broke one of them. Don't quite remember what they were, but I broke one of them. So I was like, okay, well these things are metal, why did this break? And of course it broke at the pin, the pin that like screws into the handle. Um, so I was like, you know, this is metal, like this thing isn't supposed to break. Let me do this real quick. Alright. So yeah, I was like, you know, this is metal, why, why did this razor just break? Metal's not supposed to do that. Those cheap plastic things, I can understand, but not this. So I did some research, and I came across stainless steel razors. So I, I was like, okay, well, I need to get a stainless steel razor. So the very first one that I got was an Icon open comb something or other and if you've ever used one of those older icon open comb joints then you know that they're they're uh, they're not very efficient um, they don't they just don't cut a lot um, <clears throat> 
So, you know, after a few uses, I discovered that, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't scrumping enough for me. And I remember that the 37C did well for me. So, the 37C, of course, is the, uh, excuse me, the, um, the marker slant. So I remember the 37C did, did well for me, and I was like, you know what, maybe I need to get a slant. Now at this time, this is when there were no, you couldn't get an Icon slant new. You had to get them second hand. And I finally found somebody that was trying to sell one. It took forever to find someone that wanted to get rid of one. Um, so I got it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I did not like it at all. It just did not work well for me whatsoever. And this was like the first generation before there was any of these ridiculous coatings. When it was just the, just the icon slant for what it is. For better and for worse. Um, so yeah, got one of those. Used it a couple times and did not like it. And uh, yeah, it sucked. Um, so then I did some more research on Badroom Blade. And I ran across a company called Above the Tie, who is headquartered just north of Knoxville, Tennessee, actually. Also, speaking of the uh, eastern Tennessee area, for all of you foodies, quote-unquote, I detest that term, um, and people that cook, and just all you food sorts. Have you ever heard of Benton's Bacon? Um, that's also from Eastern Tennessee as well. It's the most out of control bacon on earth. And I'm not really a bacon dude. It honestly is too much for me. But anyway, um, so yeah, I ordered a five piece set. I ordered an Atlas handle, the three open cone base plates, and uh, the three open cone base plates and a top cap. And when I got them, man, it was like, it was incredible. So then I was like, yo, this is unreal. These things are, these things are unbelievable. So at that point, you know, the, um, the open comb Icon. I gave that one to my brother. Um, this was actually uh, one year at the festival. He stayed with me. This was when he was still living in the Detroit area. Um, so I gave him the open comb set, excuse me, the open comb uh, icon and another marker. I don't remember which one. Um, and then a couple of strop shop soaps, the good ones. I don't even remember what they were, but the only the only uh, strop shop soaps that I've ever used are the ones that um, had at least tallow, if not ta tallow and lanolin, because those are very good soaps. Anyway, um, so yeah, I gave them those. Sold the Icon Slant in a matter of minutes for what I paid for, and then just went with the uh, above the tie sets. Um, the first one actually that I started using regularly was the H2, which in retrospect, I don't know who I was trying to impress. But I used to use that one all the time, and actually when I very first started making videos, that's the one that I used to use all the time. So, you know, learned my way around that one. And then one day I just decided to use the R2. And a relationship was born. I love this thing, man. 
Now I will say that I've actually, I don't prefer the Atlas handle anymore like I used to. I got a Kronos and I liked that one a lot. Um, but then I got a Colossus and I like that one even more. I feel, I, I've, uh, I've discovered that for some reason razors with heavier handles <clears throat> are easier for me to keep a light touch with. I don't know how that works, but that's, that's just the way it's ended up working out for me. The M2 I still have for when I need to do like a touch up. Because you know I don't I don't shave every day. So if I need to do a touch up because I gotta go out or something, I'll bust out the M2. Although I understand that the M the M2 actually is a bit more aggressive or efficient than the um, than the M1, the closed, the safety bar one. So I'm wondering if I need to get my hands on one of those and see what it's like. Borrow one or something. So yeah, <clears throat> this water, excuse me, this lather could use a bit of water. So I start the new job on Sunday, excuse me, Monday, whoa. I'm kind of looking forward, because I'm actually, when I get to Knoxville, I'm landing in a uh, extended stay hotel because the kids are still in school and there, are, there, are, there aren't very many available places right now. In Knoxville, in the city at least, <clears throat> I'm not staying in the burbs. That is absolutely out of the question. I at least have to give Knoxville a fighting chance. And the burbs are not going to do that. They're not going to offer that, I should say. You know, it sucks that I'm leaving Nashville right now because as much as I believed in this place, when I first moved here, I always, I waved the flag for this city for a long, long time. Especially back when I was like really, really um, mega into my music, like with gigs and stuff. <clears throat> Everybody 
every time I ever went anywhere, I always represented Nashua Hyde. And I told anybody that would listen that this place rules and that this place is going to be something special. Not that it already wasn't, but you know. And now, like I said, the entire, man, there's a lot of attention on Nashua. This place is booming. Everywhere you look, there's cranes. There's cranes everywhere in this city. There's all sorts of things being built. A lot of residential um, going up in the city, like in the city city, which is really cool to see because, I mean, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in my generation and a little bit younger, they we're all moving back to the cities anyway. So now, you know, they're building places for people to live, even though I don't really fully agree with the way they're going about it, because everything that's going, everything that's being built in Nashville right now is high end, which sucks, because I think, I don't think it's very cool for the barrier to entry, you know, the barrier to entry into the city. It's, it's, it's something to overcome. Especially for a place like Nashville that has such a really big and influential creative class. <clears throat> I just don't think it's cool that those guys can't live in the city. But, I mean, it's just the way it is. Money talks. And everybody knows what walks. Had to say goodbye to my little last weekend and that really, really sucked. When I told him, you know, that I was gonna be moving away, I don't think he really believed me. And I don't know if I talked about it. No, I know I didn't. Never mind. Um, so, you know, when I, when I dropped him off back home, the dude was sad, man. I didn't like it. But, I mean, you know, we're, we're still going to stay in touch. I'm not completely gone from the dude's life. So yeah, uh, I think that's almost it. Don't know how good of an idea this is, but we're in there anyway. And in continuing with the theme of things that I first fell for when I got into this, I'm going with fine Sabon Lavande. Beautiful stuff, man. It's been very, very lavendery themed. Shav with, with the Seville in this. This, of course, is not being produced anymore, and that really sucks. So, you know, this is one of those things that I find an excuse not to use as well. I have that bottle and another one. The other one is unopened. This one, this is probably my second use. That, that actually is the only aftershave bottle that I've ever finished. I finished one, almost finished another one, but gave it to a friend, Stevie. Gave him about a third of a bottle. 
And then I've got these two. And these ones have to last me for a while. And that's it. Um, pretty sad, man. Shaving and crying with Uncle W. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Sunday, and I'll see you from Knoxville. I'll see you from the Eastern Time Zone. Um, everybody be well until then, and I'll see you in a few days. Peace.